Hey, this is a match once again, which I'm about to see in the video. And this is a paid request for Peter. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. I do have a cash app as well, as people have asked about that. It could be for any topic, reaction, random, tier list, ranking, movie news, movie review, re-review, you know, video game playthrough for an hour or full playthrough, whatever the case may be. I'll get through as soon as I can. And for those who sent them, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So this is a reaction to the report of the week's The Chicken Sandwich No One Cares About. Now, I have liked... Uh, I have liked a lot of these guys' videos. Uh, Peter has sent in requests for some of them, which I've enjoyed. Uh, I like the guy's gimmick. He's wearing a suit. He talks very elegantly and very serious topic, but he's talking about, you know, fast food. So it's a nice, interesting, like, dichotomy of prestigious art critic, but then it's about fast food. It's a, it's a damn it, thing, and he, he actually does a good job reviewing it. He gets in the details, it's not just, mm, this tastes good, and then slobbing over himself like, Joey's World Tours, but uh, I won't be showing the video because YouTube is hypocritical. Some people can show a video and be fine. Others will show it, and within a month or a week, it gets blocked or something else happens. So I'll have the link down in the info box, and if you're on your computer, another tab, another window, you can feel free to follow along with me. And it's 15 minutes, 22 seconds. Thanks once again, Peter. I really appreciate it. Three, two, one, pressing play. So now he says it's run on an empty food reviews. He says run on an empty, but I thought it was called the report of the week. Oh, I think he just said that anyway, as I was talking. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Informal review. No seriousness to this, huh? Hmm. Yeah, you how they sometimes fast food places have this big release and Taco Bell gelato. I like his background too. Like he's got a big art piece and look like candles. <laughs> a very sophisticated, elegant backdrop. Wayne stop. Wayne stop release a new sauce, okay. Never really use sauces on my chicken sandwiches. I like them plain. Maybe bacon. That actually tastes good. Bacon and chicken sandwich. But not many fast food places do that. I remember McDonald's, they did have a bacon, cheese, chicken sandwich they used to, but then they took it away. I wonder if you asked, maybe you could get it, I don't know. So you get the sauce on wings, tenders, or chicken sandwiches. I would say chicken sandwich I like number one, then wings number two, then tenders number three. I don't. I like all three. I, I love chicken, especially Popeyes chicken. But I like the chicken sandwich at McDonald's 
Especially the crispy chicken sandwich is delicious. The Burger King sandwich, the chicken sandwich isn't that great. I could eat it because it's, it's good chicken. I love pretty much any type of chicken. But. Barbecue sauce, cayenne, pepper, and garlic. I said, I don't really put a lot of sauce on my chicken. Just never have. I don't mind spicy hot wings. But I prefer if it's, if you put the sauce on it, if it's heated well enough that it's kind of just part of the outside where you touch it doesn't get on your fingers Jesus Christ but yeah almost seven dollar sandwich I know that's the norm but god damn man it just seems ridiculous to buy seven but you could buy a pizza at Little Caesars for about that much. Even if it was like eight, nine, whatever. But goddamn, man. They don't have Wingstop around here, to be fair. Sally, there's really no chicken places around here, which is sad. Definitely no Popeyes. There was a KFC. It got shut down. <laughs> he almost dropped the damn thing. <laughs> Crit reflex is like, <laughs> Ew, pickle. It's not a bad looking sandwich. I don't like pickles, but. Like, okay, if this is, like, barbecue sauce, I'd be open to trying it. I don't mind barbecue sauce. Like, I could, like, I don't choose it, but I I don't hate barbecue sauce. I, I can enjoy it. It's just not something I, it's not something that I drive my focus towards with a sandwich. Yeah, I'm not a fan of pickles. So yeah, it really is just pickles and... Which, well, just to be honest, that's what the McDonald's chicken sandwich is as well. Just chicken and pickles. I wonder why it is. Why is it that they think... What... What was the... Mindset of making pickles with chicken... Rather it be bacon and chicken. I know it's a hard time waiting to happen, but it just tastes better. Well, got that with the pickle. Like I said, there's just not a lot of places here to do this kind of stuff and make these kind of videos. There's just not enough food places around here. And usually if I'm buying food, it's just I want to get stuff I know I'm going to like. If it's this damn expensive. I mean, $7 for a sandwich? What the fuck do you do? A bucky for an early retirement? Wingstop and all these fucking places? I know recently McDonald's doing, what, the $5 menu? But the same, I don't know if a lot of people are buying into it. How about make your dollar menu a dollar again? That'd be cool. Like, nothing is a dollar on your dollar menu. Well, we never said it was one dollar. You used to. So pretty much just him taking bites. Which makes sense. He wants to get the full flair before he gives his opinion.
<laughs> We'd all suffer through this eating segment without me pausing it. <laughs> I mean, he's just eating it. I know there are people that do this on YouTube. It's called mukbang, I think. They, they just did a bunch of food, and they just eat the shit in front of a camera. I'm like, that's all it takes? I mean, I just like to order a bunch of food, just eat on camera. I don't think people want to watch that. At least this is a review. He's got, like, a fun, like, gimmick. There's been no interest. Hmm. So no one's interested about this. No one talks about this, but the sauce is pretty good. The sauce is pretty flavorful. Yeah, with all types of marketing, they always play stuff up because they want you to be enticed to try it. If they said, oh, it's whatever, you may like it, you may not, <laughs> be like, well, why the fuck would I try it for that much money? <laughs> Honey consistency, very flavorful. Ooh. A bit smoky flavor. So it's not spicy like it's tremendously hot. There's a has a little bit to entice you. Immediately you notice the spice. But it's not overwhelming. It's not nasty. I did I like that he gets in the detail. He explains what it is he likes. Lo me on an actual review. That's just mmm This is so good. You know. I mean, we don't have wings stop around here, but it would make me want to try that. The way he's describing it. I'm like, you know what? I like to try that without the pickles. I like to try it, although not for seven bucks. So I take that back. I, I wouldn't try it for seven bucks, but if I'm with someone and like, hey, I'll buy you your meal, you try it. I'd be like, okay, I'll try it. So the taininess of the pickles that comp complements the chicken. Hmm. Sweet barbecue blaze.
Oh, whatever, cat. You're not getting the sandwich. I don't have it. I think the cat thinks he's going to get this damn... I ain't got... You better go out and get that damn $7 then and find a wing stop and then you pay for it. Well, nice to be pleasantly surprised, at least. Well, you know, it took my words, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Andrea chicken sandwich. I agree with overpriced. Very overpriced. But yeah, I know a lot of places are that. Seven dollars, fucking six, six, seven dollar sandwiches is ridiculous. I mean, I think four dollars, it's manageable. Four dollars. When you get to six, seven, and more, it's like, come on now, man. <laughs> the report to the week. So that's his name, report of the week, but then the show is running on empty. Uh, yeah, I like that. Again, I like his reviews because they are informative, they're descriptive. He's not, I mean, he's playing a character with the suit and the gimmick, yes, but it's not over the top cringeworthy trying to be funny like and being unfunny it just being a serious critic but just a fast food like it works and it's informative and gets people intrigued and go yeah let me try that out yeah let me try that out so i like that that was that was a uh, again we don't have wing stop here and again seven bucks i agree with him is overpriced but hey Would I be open to trying out if location price weren't uh, a factor? Then sure, <laughs> based on his description. But with that said, thanks for watching. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and uh, we'll see you guys later in the next one. Bye bye.